I am gonna smoke some beef back ribs. I am going to use Amazing Dad's barbecue sauce as a binder. I'm almost out. I'm gonna season it with Neil Serap's Cajun. I'm gonna check my temp with my meter. I've already started my Traeger. It is running at 200 degrees. It is preheated. So let's get these on. Um, some people take off the membrane. I do sometimes and I don't sometimes. I'm not a fan of it left on, but my last uh, YouTube video showed it with it off. So I thought I would do one for you guys in my Traeger with it on. It just gives a different bite. Um, but we'll see what you think. You could take it off. You could leave it on. I definitely take it off of pork ribs for sure. Flip her over. I should get the sides. I don't think I've ever done um, Cajun beef ribs. So this will be a first. I love the Cajun. We might have enough. <laughs> you can use anything as a binder. Um, oil, mustard, barbecue sauce, nothing. Some people don't use anything. I always like to, uh, just to me, I think it adds a bit more flavor. Some people say it doesn't. To me, I think it's what they're using. Because if I use a barbecue sauce, it definitely comes through. And there, how easy was that? I am gonna put this on the grill. It's gonna sit there at 200 degrees until an internal temperature of 160. Once my sauce is set, I will be spritzing it. I'm gonna use a little bit of Maggie beef broth and Liam Perrins. Once this hits my internal temperature of 160, I will wrap it and then I'll bring it to an internal temperature of 200. Then I'll put it back onto the grill so that once it's wrapped, everything is set. Let's get these beauties in the grill. Bring them up to an internal temperature of 160 degrees, then we'll wrap it. But once the rub sets, then I will start spritzing it. I'm gonna make my spritz now for my beef ribs. I have one cup of beef broth, two tablespoons of Lee and Perrins, one tablespoon of Maggie. Let's get this all mixed up and start spritzing our ribs. Fantastic. Let's get our first layer of spritz on. You can tell that the, the rub has set. That's the Neil Strap Cajun. Let's get this spritzed up. Get this lid shut. We're still looking for an internal temperature of 160 degrees. So we can and they've been in for three hours. They're getting a really nice dark color on them. From my spritz, from the Cajun, from the smoke. But they're still not up to temp at 160, so I'll let them go. We have come to 156. Let's get her wrapped up. I'm just gonna wrap her in beef broth and put her back on the grill. There we are, they're all wrapped up. I did paper this time. I normally use um, heavy duty foil, but we're gonna give her a go in paper. Let's get her back on the grill until an internal temperature of about 200, 203. And they took a total of six and a half hours to cook. We're gonna bring it in. Let it rest for about 15, 20 minutes. And I'll show you what they look like. There we have it, six and a half hours later. They look totally tender. I am just gonna do one slice, show you what they look like. And then I can start some photos. Let's see if we have a smoke ring. To me, it's always so exciting to cut it open and see if we got one. And we got one. <laughs> so there you have it. Six and a half hours. Super easy. Traeger smoked beef back ribs. Done in the Traeger Pro 780.